Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages to Facebook leads for dropshipping business. So, I am an owner of a dropshipping business that is East Dropshipping and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically towards the lead, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded. For that, we need to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need triggers and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be WhatsApp Cloud API. I am creating a message template with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API. If you want, you can use Wati or Interact to create your own message template. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp messages to Facebook leads. So I am an owner of a dropshipping business that is Ease Dropshipping and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And what I want is every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically towards the lead, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded. For that, we are going to create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli that is pabli.com. After browsing this website, we have to sign into a Pabli account. If you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I am going to sign into my Pabli account. After that, you can see the all apps window in front of you in which you can see the five functions of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Now as you can see, Pabli Connect's dashboard has opened in front of you. In order to start an automation, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click on this top right corner button, create workflow. Then a dialog box will appear in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give my workflow name as Ease Dropshipping Facebook Lead Ads to WhatsApp. So this is the name that I want to give to this workflow. If you want, you can choose your own name and give the name to this workflow. After that, it is asking for me to select the folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see that I have created multiple folders. So I want to save this workflow in a specific folder. For that, I'm going to select my folder as Facebook lead ads to WhatsApp. If you want, you can create your own folder and you can save this workflow in that folder. After that, we have to click on create to create our workflow. Now, as you can see, a workflow is created in the name of Ease Dropshipping Facebook Lead Ads to WhatsApp. And there are two windows in front of you. One says Trigger, another says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process. Because a process depends on these two steps. Over here, Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but various action steps. So first we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here and it is asking for us to choose our trigger application. And as in the introduction, I've already told you that a trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to select Facebook lead ads. After that, it is asking for us to select our trigger event. Our trigger event is going to be new lead instead. So I'm going to select that. So we have selected our trigger event as new lead instead because we want that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Pabli Connect should capture the response. After selecting our trigger application and the trigger event, we have to click on connect in order to authorize Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. As you can see, a new window will then appear in front of you in which we have to click on add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, you have to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. So as you can see, it says we have successfully authorized our Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. So next it is asking for the page. So in my Facebook account, I have created a page for my business in the name of Ease Dropshipping and I will be promoting my Facebook lead ads with the help of this page. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli account and for the page, I'm going to select Ease Dropshipping. So I'm going to select this. After that, it is asking for the lead gen form. So I have created a lead gen form for my business in the name of dropshipping. If you want to learn how to create your own lead ads form, then you can check out our YouTube channel. For the lead gen form, I'm going to select dropshipping. After selecting the page and the lead gen form, I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now, as you can see right over here, it says waiting for webhook response. So what we are going to do is we are going to generate a test lead. For that, we have to open a lead ads testing tool. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search for Meta for developers. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to open Meta for developers. 
So as you can see, this is the page of Meta for developers. We have to click on more right over here. And then from these options, we have to click on tools. After that, on the screen, you can see it says developer tools. We have to scroll down. We have to choose this option right over here. Now, as you can see, it says lead ads testing tool. So this is the lead ads testing tool from which we are going to generate a test lead. So firstly, it is asking for the page. So for the page, I'm going to select it as ease drop shipping. And afterwards for the form, I'm going to select it as drop shipping. After selecting the page and the form, we have to click on preview form. Then you can see this is the form that I've created. It is asking for the full name, email and the mobile number. So I'm going to fill in some details. So firstly for the full name, I'm going to write it as dummy user. Afterwards for the email, I'm going to write it as dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. And lastly for the phone number, a dummy mobile number. After filling all the details of this form, we have to click on next and then on submit to submit the form. As you can see over here, it says your test lead has been sent. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect and I'm going to check whether a new response is captured by Pabli Connect or not. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect account. And yes, as you can see, a response is captured in our Pabli Connect. For the name, it says dumb user. For the email as dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. And lastly, for the mobile number, a dummy mobile number. That means you have successfully connected Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here and as in the introduction i've already told you that our action application is going to be whatsapp cloud api so i'm going to select this and for the action event we are going to select send template message we have selected our action event as send template message because with the help of whatsapp cloud api i have created a template as you can see right over here so i want that every time a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads automatically towards the lead a whatsapp message should be forwarded with the help of the template that i've created in whatsapp cloud api so i'm going to select this action event as send template message and afterwards to authorize our whatsapp cloud api with public connect we are going to click on connect then a new window will appear in front of you in which we have to click on add new connection so it is asking for all these details and you can find these details in your api setup if you want to learn how to have your own api setup you have to click on this learn more right over here then you will be directed to this page right over here and when you scroll down you can see a video tutorial in which it says how to set up whatsapp cloud api inside pabli connect so you can learn how to set up your whatsapp cloud api step by step by watching this video so I've already set up my WhatsApp cloud API. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that. And as you can see, it says over here, it is API setup. So firstly, in my Pabli account, it is asking for the token. And in my API setup, as you can see, it says temporary access token. So I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to paste it right over here. After that, it is asking for the phone number ID. So in my API setup, as you can see over here, it says phone number ID. So I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to paste it right over here. And lastly, it is asking for the WhatsApp business account ID. So as you can see, WhatsApp business account ID is mentioned over here. So I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to paste it right over here. After filling all the details, we have to click on save. So as you can see, we successfully authorized our WhatsApp cloud API with Pabli Connect. And next it is asking for the template names. So the template that I've created, I've given it a name as Facebook leads message. So I'm going to go back and select my template name as Facebook leads message. And next it is asking for the language code and the selected template ID. So these two information right over here, we are not going to do anything with them because whenever you select your template name, automatically these details right over here will be selected according to the template that you have selected. So after that, it is asking for the recipient's mobile number. So what I want is whenever a new lead is generated, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded on the customer's mobile number. So I'm going to map the data for this information right over here. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So for that, I'm going to click right over here. And as you can see, this is the response from my previous step that is Facebook lead ads, new lead instead. So I'm going to click on this arrow right over here. And as you can see, this is the response from our trigger step that Pabli Connect has captured from the new lead that we have generated. So I'm going to map the data for the mobile number. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this data right over here. 
So as you can see, I've mapped the data right over here. So that means every time when a new lead is generated, automatically according to the response, the data over here will be updated. After mapping the recipient's mobile number, it is asking for the body field one. So in the template that I've created, you can see I've, I've also created a variable right over here. What I want is that whenever any of my customer generates a new lead, the name of my customer should be mentioned over here. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my public connect and as you can see, it is saying body field one so i'm going to map the data for the name as well for that i have to click over here and as you can see this is the previous trigger step response i'm going to click on this arrow and as i want the name of my customer should be mentioned right over here so i'm going to map the data for the name so i've completed mapping the data for both of these steps so that every time new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads according to the new lead this data right over here will be updated so now i'm going to click on save and send test request but before that i'm going to change this dummy mobile number from here to my mobile number so that a whatsapp message will forwarded on my whatsapp account so i'm going to change it after that i'm going to click on save and send test request now as you can see over here it says that a response is received so i'm going to go back to my whatsapp account and i'm going to check whether a message is forwarded on my whatsapp or not so as you can see a whatsapp message is forwarded on my number as hello dummy user thank you for showing interest in our offerings we are delighted to tell you that there is an amazing offer going on in which you can get 15 to 60 percent discounts on our services one of our employee is soon going to contact you and you can ask about offers discount or any queries that you have thank you regards that means we are successfully connected facebook lead ads with whatsapp but for all of you guys i'm going to generate another test lead to check whether a new whatsapp message will be forwarded on my number or not so for that i'm going to open lead ads testing tool and as you can see this is the lead ads testing tool and over here it says you can create one lead per form you'll need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one and as i've already created a lead with the help of this form so i'm going to delete this lead for that we have to click on delete lead as you can see it says your lead has been deleted after that i'm going to refresh the page it is very important to first delete the lead and refresh the page if you have an existing lead because you can only create one lead per form and if you are not going to do that you will not be able to submit another response so firstly it is asking for the page so for the page i'm going to select it as ease drop shipping and for the form as drop shipping after selecting the page on the form i'm going to click on preview form so as you can see this is the form that i've created so i'm going to fill in all the details right over here in order to submit the form so as you can see i've filled all the details that this form was asking for so firstly for the full name as demo user for the email as demo user at the rate pablitudes.com and lastly for the mobile number a dummy mobile number so i'm going to click on next and then on submit to submit the form so as you can see over here it says your test lead has been sent so i'm going to go back to my whatsapp account and i'm going to check whether a whatsapp message is forwarded on my number or not and yes as you can see a new whatsapp message is forwarded on my number as hello demo user thank you for showing interest in our offerings we are delighted to tell you that there is an amazing offer going on in which you can get 15 to 60 percent discounts on our services one of our employee is soon going to contact you so you can ask about offers discounts or any queries that you have thank you regards so that means we have successfully connected facebook lead ads with whatsapp with the help of public connect so we are going to sum up till now what we have done so i am a drop shipping business owner in the name of ease drop shipping and i'm promoting my business with the help of facebook lead ads and what i wanted is that every time a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads automatically towards the lead a whatsapp message should be forwarded for that we have created an automation with the help of pabli connect so to start an automation process we need to create a workflow so i have created a workflow in the name of ease drop shipping facebook lead ads to whatsapp and then we have set up our trigger and action step. For the trigger step, I've taken my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instead. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Public Connect should capture the response. After setting up our trigger step, we have set up our action step. 
So firstly for the action application we have taken WhatsApp Cloud API and our action event as send template message. That means every time when a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads and public and it captures the response. After that towards that lead a WhatsApp message should be forwarded with the help of the template that we have created from WhatsApp Cloud API. So this is how we create an automation between Facebook lead ads and WhatsApp. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and queries and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate .com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pabli Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.